Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing a story time with you guys because you seem to like those kind of videos. First, I want to give a shout out to my very much appreciated Patreon members. Thank you guys for all of your support over there on Patreon. And if you want to get to know me on a much more intimate level, definitely check out Patreon, guys. There's tons of exclusive content and weekly updates. Okay, so let's get started with this story, guys. This actually popped up into my head a couple days ago, and it's something that I really don't think about too often, but basically what happened was back in 2019, I was in a weird part of my life, and I was just open to whatever. I mean, we've all kind of been there at some point, right? Where you're just kind of an opportunist, you're ready to just do anything that looks fun and different. So I was ready to get out of the town that I was living in, which is actually the town I'm currently living in again. That's besides the point. And I wanted to move into a city because I'm a small town boy, you know, country boy at heart, and I'd never experienced living in a city. And I just wanted to experience that for a little bit. So at this time, I was searching for an apartment to live in, and this was gonna be my first apartment alone. And I wanted to make sure that I was going to be comfortable in it. It wasn't in a dangerous part of town. So I would go up to Phoenix some days and just walk around, drive around, and try to find cool different apartments that were in my price range. I was 20 years old, and I just needed more fun in my life. I was getting ready to turn 21 in a couple months, and I was over living with my mom. I love her to death, but I was just over it. And I was ready to be on my own and start dating more and meeting new friends, partying, traveling, just getting the most out of my life. I met a couple of friends that told me downtown Phoenix would be a great place to move to meet other guys that are into guys. So I took their advice and started looking at potential places to live. So one day when I was getting ready to drive up to Phoenix, I was still living in the suburbs at the time. and. I stopped at a grocery store. I was walking around this grocery store and all of a sudden this man comes up to me. Like I turn around and he's behind me and he approaches me and he's like, hey, where'd you get your shoes? And guys, I was not wearing cool shoes. These were like old beat up Adidas tennis shoes. Just nothing that really warrants a compliment, at least in my head. So I was kind of like, oh, I got him from finish line. And then he started asking me about my life and asking me what I do. And he started complimenting me, like overly complimenting me. Like, you seem like a cool guy. Like, you got it going. And it was just kind of like, thanks. You know, I was taken back by that. Who doesn't love to be complimented? This guy was attractive. Like, he wasn't a supermodel or anything, but he was an attractive guy. I would say mid-30s maybe early 40s, but probably mid-30s. Um, very friendly, you know, fit, and just looked like a normal guy. I noticed he had a ring on his finger as well. So we're literally just sitting there in this aisle at the grocery store talking, and it was probably like five whole minutes. But he's asking me like, oh, why are you moving up to Phoenix? And I'm telling him I want more fun in my life, and I'm trying to find direction, and... I feel like I don't fit in where I was living. And he was basically just saying, you know, I want to help you. I was in that place. And I was like, um, okay. So he ends up giving me his number and he says, contact me when you're ready for change in your life. And mind you guys, I was in a big time of change in my life when I met him. So I was doing flight lessons with this flight instructor I had recently met. I was getting ready to move to Phoenix and, you know, I was doing the adult film industry. So there was just so much that was already going on in my life. And I thought, hmm, is he just trying to come on to me? Like, is he trying to date me or maybe hook up with me? I didn't know. I just kind of finished my grocery shopping and left. The situation stuck with me for the rest of the day. And I actually had a flight lesson planned that day. And I ended up bringing it up to the flight instructor at the time, who, if you don't know, this flight instructor was very attached to me. He had a huge attachment problem, I would say, and he didn't really like me 
having friends or even mentioning friends or anybody else for that matter when I was around him. I didn't really know him that well at the time, so I brought this situation up to him and he was like, oh, he's just trying to come on to you and he's just trying to get in your pants and take you home. And I was like, really? Because I just felt like I didn't get that vibe from the man who approached me at the grocery store. I felt like a different vibe that I've never really felt with anybody before. Because honestly, I've never had an encounter like that. Have you guys? Like some random person coming up to you and just kind of going all in out of nowhere. So basically my flight instructor was my mentor at the time and I would ask him for advice and wisdom. And when things like this happened in my life, I would go to him. But he, again, he liked me a lot and he was almost in love with me. And I didn't see our relationship in that way. So he kind of brainwashed me and made me feel like this man was coming on to me when I really don't think he was. I think he just might have seen a young man who needed help and needed a little bit of direction in my life. But let's keep going with this story. I just felt totally different about that man's vibe. I felt a positive energy. I didn't feel like flirtation or lust or anything like that. It's hard to explain. Like, I felt just like a golden aura coming from him. Like he really wanted to help me as a fellow human. And maybe it was because he saw that I was getting ready to move to Phoenix and he's psychic or something and he wanted to maybe help me and a help me avoid getting into all of this stuff and the mess that I got into. I don't know. But that's why I'm sharing this story with you guys, because it's truly mind-boggling. Let's keep going with it, though. So the next day, I ended up texting this guy, and I wanted to basically fish for more information about this. And it felt like a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. It felt almost like a job, like he was trying to get me to be on his team of some sort, but it didn't really feel like money. But he did talk about success a lot and, you know, financial independence and discipline. Yeah, we went really deep when we were in the grocery store. I can't remember the exact conversation we had, but basically he was just trying to influence me or persuade me to drive up to Scottsdale and meet his team and basically just have like a meeting, an interview. And he was very dodgy with my questions, so he wouldn't tell me exactly what it was. He was basically just giving me the impression that he wanted me to join some type of empowerment group, some type of, you know, confidence-boosting, inspirational and motivational group, kind of like a church. And I was like very open to it. But I still had my flight instructor's voice in the back of my head saying, oh, he just wants to hook up with you. So I was very confused. He also kept making it very apparent that I needed to be ready for the next stages in my life. And that's the kind of language he was using with me. Like, are you ready to step into this door? Like, are you ready to leave the past behind? Are you ready to transcend in a way into the best person you can be? And I was, I felt like I truly was ready. The entire situation felt very mystical and very rare, like once in a lifetime rare. And even to this day, I wondered, you know, did I make the right decision? I really felt like I didn't want to miss out on the opportunity, even though I didn't know what the opportunity was. It just felt very cool and interesting. But at the same time, I was very preoccupied in my life. I was doing flight lessons. I was very excited to get my pilot's license, even though I still haven't. So that was a mistake to be focused on. I moved to downtown Phoenix, which I moved back after two years because it was just too much for me. So that was a mistake in a way. But also, these were lessons that I learned. So I think if I didn't learn these lessons, I would be a different man than I am today, which who knows if that's a bad or a good thing. But I truly let the voice and opinion of my former flight instructor sway me away from this opportunity which in hindsight is the exact opposite thing that I should have done because I don't even have contact with that man anymore. And there was nothing but negativity, arguments, and turmoil that came from that 
relationship, if you will. I wish I never let him interfere with exploring that opportunity more because it still bugs me to this day. And I still ask God sometimes, like, can you please put something else like that into my life? Because I do need direction. And I feel like an opportunity like that where I could meet another mentor that could show me the right doors to go into and the things to not let bother me, you know, just life lessons like that. It would also be nice to have a friend and a mentor as well. So I ended up texting this man that I met at the end of the week asking, are you looking for a hookup? Is this what this was for? Like, is that why you're trying to get me to drive up to Scottsdale to meet you and your team? And he was like, no, that's not at all what I'm looking for. And I know you said that you're into guys, but that doesn't bother me. And I'm still willing to help you become the best person you can be. And I guess I just let that weird me out when in all reality, that's not a weird response at all. That's a response from somebody who I feel has a good heart and sees a good person in me and saw me making the wrong decisions. Anyway, basically what I'm trying to say from this story is I think that man that I met at the grocery store was sent from God and I ignored him and I still kick myself in the foot for ignoring that opportunity because I don't know what it could have been. I could be totally wrong on this. Maybe he could have been trying to kidnap me or get me to join his pyramid scheme or anything for that matter. But I just feel like it was an overall positive interaction that I had with this guy. And I wish I would have explored that opportunity further. So the lesson from this story is don't let other people's opinions influence the decisions that you make, especially when they come to your success and your well-being in life. Overall, I'm really grateful for the lessons that I learned in living in downtown Phoenix. Would I do it again? No. But where would I be if I didn't learn those lessons? Life is so interesting when you start thinking about the corners and the doors that you've went through and the turns you've made. I hope you guys enjoyed this story today. I know it was kind of an interesting one, kind of a weird one, but let me know if anything like this has ever happened to you because I love reading your guys' comments and... I just really appreciate the support and the conversation. So thanks again for watching, guys. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.